Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. And by the video title, you know what this video is about. NFL Week 18 Game Picks. This is the last one for the regular season. I will have the playoff picks coming as well. We're still going to have a lot of NFL news coming when the offseason comes. Of course, the playoffs, we're going to be following that, the Super Bowl and everything. And we'll have a lot of news coming. And then also, I'm going to be doing the basketball stuff and college football stuff as well. So we got a lot of things coming in this month right here and next month. So just stay tuned. But this is the last NFL Week 18 Game Picks right there. It's the last Game Picks of the of the regular season of the 2022 I mean, 2023, 2024 season. So we're going to see what happens. First game of the week, we have the Steelers versus the Ravens. My Steelers go into Baltimore looking to slaughter those Ratbirds, Ravens. Um, we're going to see what happens. I think that the Ravens might rest their starters. Where do they, they rest their starters or play the starters? We're still going out there with a the tent to try to win that game and go out there and play hard, hard, hard football. We beat the Ravens last time we played them, helped them to 10 points. Uh, Lamar Jackson threw an interception to Joey Porter in the end zone. He got strip sacked by TJ Wyatt as well. Two turnovers. So, and Steelers always do a great job against uh, Lamar Jackson. I think Lamar Jackson is 1-3 and three versus the Steelers. I'm not mistaken. I think like 1-2 and two or 1-3 and three versus the Steelers. They do a great job versus him. I think he has thrown like 7 or 8. I think 8 picks he has thrown against the Steelers. And he has been sacked like 11 times. So he's been, the Steelers do, I think 12 times. In one game he got sacked 6 times. I think it was last, a couple years ago. And then um last year we played in the first game of the season i believe he got um the sack was it five times so the Steelers do a good job against lamar jackson they do a good job because like the steelers had that pass rush that can chase you tj wide them those guys that can um hunt and pursue you they very good in pursuit why you know hayward and all these guys Alex highsmith and nate herbig who did, made a big play last week too so still do a great job against lamar jackson i think some of his worst games are against the steelers the last time he beat the steelers they had doug hodges and mason rudolph as uh, i think doug, i think mason rudolph started the game he got knocked out by um Earl Thomas. That's how long it was ago, ago it was. Earl Thomas was on the Ravens. And then Duck Hodges came in and um the, the Ravens won in overtime. That's the last time Lamar Jackson beat the Steelers. So it's been a while since he beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um now we did lose to the Ravens. We lost to Tyler Huntley before. Um uh, of course we lost to Tyler Huntley. So it's not like a give me game. So we're gonna see what happens um and see what goes on. But I'm picking my Steelers to win this game. I'm going with the Steelers, rather the Steelers to win this game. Um Texans and Colts, um that's gonna be a crazy one. I believe the Texans should have enough juice to get it done to win that game and get themselves um, in the playoffs. I think uh, I think I think the Jaguars are going to lose, which is my next pick. The Jaguars are going to lose to the Titans. Titans at home. Titans going to beat the Jaguars after the playoffs, and then I'm going to be the Texans win the division by winning that game against the Colts. So that's going to be a good one. Um, Lions and Vikings. I'm going to take the Lions in that one to win that one. Um, Fal but the Lions might rest their starters, but I think they still will probably win that game though. Um, Falcons and Saints. Um, I think the Saints will win that one. Jets and Patriots, I believe that the the Patriots should win that one. Panthers, Bucks, I'm taking the Buccaneers to win that. Browns, Bengals, I'm taking the taking the Browns to win that one. I think the Browns will win that one. The Browns um don't have to really play. They get really risk their starters as well because they have a playoff spot already solidified and number one seed and division is already won by the Ravens, so they really ain't got to play. So I believe the um the Browns will probably um still with their backup still win that game. Um, Bears, Packers. Packers win that game. I picked it at the beginning of the season. I said the Packers would make the playoffs. I had them at 10-7 at the beginning of the season. Right now, they're, uh, I believe they're 8-8 eight eight right now. So, they, they finished 9-8. I think they beat the Bears, made the playoffs. And they might make some noise. It might be the 7 seed. You never know what could happen. You know, Green Bay always find a way to sneak themselves up in the playoffs, especially when they're underdogs. So Jordan Love looked very good, especially last night on Sunday Night Football. Played very good football. So, I think the Packers win and get in the playoffs. Um, Cowboys, Commanders. Cowboys should win this game. And I don't know, they're on, a, they're on a roll, but they should win this game. And ho hopefully, they win this game so they can win the division. If not, if the Eagles win against the Giants on the road, then the Eagles will be winners. But I'm picking the Cowboys to win against the Commanders. Broncos, Raiders. Give me the give me the give me the Raiders. Raiders to win now when against the Broncos. Eagles and Giants. Give me the Eagles to win now when they bounce back with the win. Seahawks, Cardinals. Give me the Seahawks to win that one. Rams, 49ers. Um, I'm gonna say the Rams win this one. I'm say the Rams win this one. Nine, nine is my rest day starters, probably. I think the Rams will go out there and win this one. Uh, the Rams are in the playoffs as well. They clinched the playoff spot already, too. So they really got to play their starters fully either because there's no way for them to win the division to get a home field spot. So no, there's no need to risk an injury or anything. So I think the Rams should win against the Niners still, though, with their backups. Chiefs, Chargers. Give me the Chiefs in that one. I know the Chargers have their backups playing. Uh, well, their backups have been starting for them most of the time. And the Chiefs... um. Already got a playoff spot locked up. Now, I don't think they can move up. They might can move up, maybe, right? I don't think so. I don't believe they can move up. They need a third seed, so we're going to see what can happen um, with that. Um, well, actually, the Chiefs are – oh, no, they're 10-6. Never mind. They can't move up. I don't think it's possible for them to move up or not. Well, um, I don't think so. 
But Chiefs should win that one. And then we got Bills, Dolphins. Um, that's a tough one. I think Dolphins should win that one. Dolphins got to win that one. The Bills won the first one. Dolphins got humiliated on national television um, last game. They got to bounce back. Got to bounce back and win this and get the home field advantage. So I'm picking the Dolphins to win this one. I feel like they have bounced back in this game right here. They have played more of their style. Last game, they didn't play their style. We see a lot of un un ordinary things they were doing and trying to do. Run the football and, you know, and, and use that to set up your passing attack and let Tyreek Hill catch the ball in space, let your receivers, Barrios, and all those guys catch the ball in space and make things happen. I feel like, they, I feel like this game right here, uh, they have played well enough to win the game against the Bills and solidify themselves on the two C in the AFC. Those are my game picks for this um, week right here. It's the last one of the season. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will be doing playoff picks, um, so stay tuned for that. I'll be doing also little short videos, probably reactions right after some of the playoff games. Hopefully my Steelers get in the playoffs um, as well. So going to be a lot of things coming. You know, college football stuff. We got basketball stuff. You know, All-Star Weekend going to be coming up eventually too. A lot of crazy things to cover. So just stay tuned to the channel. Subscribe, share it, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time on the channel. Peace out.